gonna need a bigger boat. Well, my drawing skills aren't exactly awesome, but it'll be good enough to get an idea of what I want, um, and then from there take it into uh, CAD. It will allow us to get all the dimensions right, be able to make the solids and then flatten them out so that we've got templates to cut as the main hull or hulls if you like of this thing it just makes life easy we can get flattened templates draw the um, cut around the templates and then it all should go together fine so what we're looking at hopefully is a, a sort of twin hull design um, and it's going to look something like this can you tell what it is yet so that's a hull um, so we're probably then going to have somewhere around and I'm probably going to try and keep it close to the water so let's put it about um, here we'll have the main duct for the engine <laughs> the line of the other hull so that will go from here up to about here it's going to be a little bit more raised than that in fact <laughs> so then what we're going to have up here is something of a duct only a narrow one it's not going to be very ducted we're going to mount the engine now basically i probably I think I'll try and mount the thing upright. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, that that actually looks like a propeller. <laughs> so yeah. So um, and then for steering, we're just going to put a couple of fairly simple rudder type things on the back. Um, so yeah. The idea being is that when we rev this little baby up, you get airflow, obviously coming through here whoop 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 going back out there at a, a much greater speed and um, according to Newton's third law of physics if we push air out that way the equal and opposite reaction will be to move the boat this way so yeah that's the rough design of it um, next step is to well have a look at a few materials I think <laughs> 